What's up guys? Welcome to the Red Zone. Before we get into today's video, I have one piece of mail. Ooh, it's from Tyler's Reptarium. Um, thank you for the sticker guys. Put that on the wall today. guys welcome to the channel so uh, I don't see a lot of videos out there that really go in-depth about bearded dragon genetics um, I see a ton of people breeding but I don't see um, a lot of people being knowledgeable about what they're breeding so today we're gonna go over a few things Today we're gonna be talking about some more advanced stuff um, if you have any questions, please drop them in the comments below and I will try to answer them. Um, first off, we're going to be talking about recessive leatherbacks, codominant leatherbacks. Second, we'll be talking about micro scales and how to make a micro scale. Three, we'll be talking about the dominant trait, G stripe. And four, we'll be talking about a recessive trait, color stripe versus phantom stripe. Is it the same thing? So. A recessive leatherback is a leatherback offspring that was produced by a normal scale to leatherback pairing. So one parent was normal scale, one parent was leatherback. Um, all the leatherbacks will be recessive for normal scale and all the normal scales will be het for leatherback. Um, Co-dominant leatherback is when the offspring's parents are both leatherback, so you paired a leatherback to a leatherback to produce co-dominant leatherback. Now, so if you have a uh, recessive leatherback, which would be XY, to a recessive leatherback, which this will also produce normal scales. Um, you will have your co-dominant leatherback, you'll have two recessive leatherbacks, and you will have a normal scale. In a perfect world, if you had four babies, that's what you would have. Okay, but it's the same thing. These are co-dominant leatherbacks being bred to another co-dominant leatherback. Um, I just want to show you that this is the recessive trait for leatherback. And this is the dominant trait for leatherback. This is the dominant trait for leatherback and the recessive trait for leatherback and the father and the mother. So when I bring over their genetics, it'll be a co-dominant leatherback. It'll be a recessive leatherback for leatherback and a recessive leatherback for leatherback. And then right here, is going to be your 25% silkies because both of their recessive traits are going to come over and when the dragon takes on both recessive leatherback traits that's when you produce silkies. Alright guys if I didn't lose you on the last part we're on the second part of the video where we are going to now produce micro scales. So to produce a micro scale you need a normal scale dragon that is het for leatherback or carries the recessive trait for leatherback and a leatherback that carries the recessive trait for normal scale. Produce micro scale. This would be your micro scale. These three would technically be het for micro scale. These two being normal het for micro scale. This one being a leatherback het for micro scale. All right, guys, now for part three, where we're going to talk about G-stripe or genetic stripe. Um, sometimes gets confused with color stripe, which isn't at all the same. Uh, genetic stripe is actually a dominant gene. Color stripe is a recessive gene. Color stripe is. So if you bred uh, a dragon that didn't have genetic stripe to a dragon with genetic stripe, more than likely half your dragons will come out with the genetic stripe pattern. Um, color stripe is a little bit different and we'll talk about that next. 
All right, guys, so we're going to be talking about Color Stripe versus Phantom Stripe, which is actually the same thing. So we're just going to call it Color Stripe. Some people use Phantom Stripe to jazz up their dragon when they're trying to sell it, but really it's the same thing. And it sometimes gets confused with Genetic Stripe or G Stripe, which it's not the same at all. So G Stripe is a dominant trait. So you only need one dragon to have. Uh, the genetic stripe to produce um, offspring with genetic stripe. Color stripe is a recessive trait, so you need both parents to have uh, the recessive trait. Um, you need both parents to either be recessive or visual in color stripe to produce um, color stripe dragons. So, two dragons recessive for color stripe, we would get a normal, we would get the two hats and we would get our visual color stripes so one in four dragons or 25% of our cut clutch would be color stripe dragon all right guys after all the confusion I hope I clarified everything for you guys and you enjoyed today's video if you guys like the video please comment share subscribe and uh, put on your post notifications for our next video thank you guys